is good everybody welcome to an epic my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we have some brand new wwe action figure customs for you guys as well as an update on this guy right here because oh my god in heaven i sat down i did all these customs and i was gonna do flip fucker next and then it hit me in the soul like i was just like i don't know if i want to use this crotch piece man the freaking blue covering up that red and then you have to deal with the chipping right there you can see right here even if i paint this full thing blue you're still going to be able to see that red part right there i don't know if i can agree with that so i don't know should i change the part up or should i just leave it i really don't know what to do right here i literally did all these customs and i was going to do flip fog the next one and I was like oh the guys are going to be excited to see this shit and then I was like ah, I don't know if I want to do it so I'm still trying to figure out if I want to do that and it bothers the hell out of me I may just switch out the crotch piece but I really like the details from the Buddy Murphy stuff going on right here the Elite 72 so I'm just going to leave that up to you guys what do you guys think let me know down in the comment section below should I change the crotch piece should I just leave the red I, I don't know I'm definitely going to paint it blue but it's going to you're going to leave that red at the top right there may have to turn it and say I, I bleh. let's shut the hell up and get into it guys you guys will start off we got to start off with the new custom that's weird we got to get into this guy right here if you guys know the nxt target exclusive rusev elite the, A the alexander rusev elite it's the nxt wave it's shelf warmed everywhere if you guys ever saw this figure on the shelves pretty much what i did was just removed his little you know little throw over his over his jungulars and underneath was the black underwear that seth rollins has at the top talents if you removed his legs you would see the you know just the black crotch piece and then I noticed that he has this skin tone, like like the tights are supposed to be there, but it's like skin tone and it looks awful. So I figured to throw a championship over it, and now we have a new naked guy to go with our Seth Streak and Rollins. So we have Seth Streak and Rollins, and we have Nude Sev, is what I would call it. Or if you guys could come up with anything better, let me know down below, but I thought that was hilarious. And the M obviously stands for Machka. So we got the, uh, you know, we got Nude Sev and we got Seth Streak and Rollins. There's your tag team moving forward, and they can conquer the world become the first ever new champions but yeah i thought you guys would like that uh one thing i might do is like sand down these lines right here because it's actually not a hard thing to do at all i could sand down these lines right here so that it would look seamless and you wouldn't have these big lines going on right here right now it looks like he's got some big metal bars going around his thighs underneath the skin so it looks a little weird but nonetheless you got nude sev and seth streak and rollins i thought you guys would enjoy that so there you go if you want to make that very simple wwe championship remove the little cloth thing from over your Alexander Rusev NXT Target Exclusive Elite, and there you go. But that's not why we're here today, guys. We're here to take a look at some brand new customs, and if you guys remember the last, was it action figure surgery or action figure appointment, we did a Buddy Murphy switch where we switched out his white knee pads and white kick pads for Daniel Bryan knee pads and kick pads, and we switched out the lower legs, got the black and red going on, and so what I did, as I told you guys, I was going to paint it up in some black, and what I've done is pretty much painted over the details on the belt in black, and then I painted the white streaks all over the, the tears right here. You guys know his weird shredded shorts wrestling gear. Don't mind the blood on the back. He, uh, you know, the, this was white. I painted over that in black and then I, what else did I do? Oh yeah, I switched out the lower arms with Kevin Owens' lower arms. I also acetoned the, the tattoo off right here and then switched out the upper biceps for the Buddy Murphy biceps and it looks pretty good. I like the way it came out. You know, honestly in, in real perspective, I honestly would like to black out every Thing and then outline it in white. I don't think that's possible, but in a real perfect world, we would go black outlines on everything with white. Like, the belt's fine, but the strings right here would be white, and the base of it would be black, and then on the text on the side, I would probably have either red text over this black, or it would be black text with red outline, or, or with white. Something better than this is what the hell I'm trying to say. But what do you guys think? I like it, honestly. Let's go ahead and get another Buddy Murphy so I can compare the two. So here's your two different versions. You got the regular Elite 72, and then you have my black version, which I think looks pretty good. I like the black tape. I like the black details. It gives me a little different look, and I still need the Chase variant Buddy Murphy, so if anybody likes that, let me know. But let's get into Buddy Murphy's Hell's Gate opponent, which was Kevin Owens. You guys know I love KO. Probably my favorite wrestler on the main roster right now. Dude is an absolute beast, all right? I just love him so much. I finally, not only did we switch out his boots to make him more accurate, today, ladies and gentlemen, we have finally updated our Kevin Owens. I have finished all the tattoo work. As we get in here, you will see, honestly I don't think I did as good of a job on the new tattoos. Like this snake back here doesn't look that good. It, it, it honestly 
I spent like 25 minutes on it and it looks okay I guess but I think the gator and you know the bird right here that condor and the shading and the gorilla down here and then the panda on the inner bicep right there looks so much better than the snake that I did but you know what I added all the shading it's updated he has a full tattoo sleeve on the right arm now all the way 360 all around looking very good and then on the left arm I did add the dinosaur t-rex skull head which doesn't look the best either I'm not a big fan of it but uh in the back it not only has the head but he has like the torso wrapping around and a little foot coming off but it just ends which I thought was a very odd design choice when making the tattoo uh you know as an artist but you know he has a plan for it I'm guessing before long he'll have two full sleeves which is which will be very badass but uh I'm gonna keep it like this until we get an updated Kevin Owens Elite which I think we're supposed to get in 80 I think it's series 80 we're supposed to get an updated Kevin Owens so maybe that'll include all the tattoos and we'll get a good attire out of it and we'll expand upon the Kevin Owens Elite Football Collection but until that day I'm pretty sure I released a video a while back talking about Elite Series 80 Kevin Owens or some some Kevin Owens was supposed to be coming out and I'm sure we'll see that at Comic-Con or the reveals because Comic-Con's canceled which is dumb as shit but I'm sure we'll get an updated Kevin Owens at some point and we'll probably see the render image or something like that even though we have a basic that has some of the tattoos it doesn't have all of them so uh I know a lot of you will be happy to see an updated Kevin Owens finally, so I got that on there. Have not oh my god, I have not sealed him just yet, so uh, we'll get to sealing him and everything like that. And now we're moving on to the last figure, guys, which is this Roman Reigns. Now you're probably thinking, Brad, I've already seen this Roman Reigns. We saw this Roman Reigns at Hell's Gate. He stepped into the Elimination Chamber. He, he retained the MDT Championship. But if you guys pay close attention, I have first of all, I removed the blood from his face. He was a soaked, bloody mess from that championship match. I cleaned off the head, which looks great. This is my favorite Roman head sculpt, I think. MDT Championship. You have the red details on the gauntlets, but if you look down at his shorts, or his legs, if you will, you will see that he is wearing red tights now to go along with his bloodline and the, you know, the red gauntlets, and he's got the red tights now. If you guys remember, the Usos back in the day used to rock the tights underneath their gear. A lot of athletes wear these. Basketball, football players wear them. I've worn them before in my games. They're very popular, and I decided to bring red tights to him and leave the little white outline so that he has the little black spat. He's got the white outlines on there, and then you add in that red. And also, if you guys remember, the skin tone wasn't accurate because I took my, I think it was Elite 65 Roman, took the Elite 65 Roman, put on the day one-ish vest, popped off the legs, put on Elite Cena, Elite 46 legs, I think, to give him the shorts mold, and then I replaced his lower legs with Uso's legs, and the skin tone was too light for Roman. So I painted over it in red and now this is probably how he's gonna look all the way up until My Damn Nation Because I actually have a cooler attire planned for him for My Damn Nation You guys know we're going all out for that pay-per-view No stone unturned, we're going big ass set, sick ass attire, sick ass interests You guys get the deal if you guys know what I'm talking about But I think that is it, again I tried to uh, do Flip Fokker and everything But I just was not feeling the process with it if you guys get what I'm saying But I did get some other customs done and I wanted to show them off You got Kevin Owens, Buddy Murphy over here not you, you dumb jackass. We got Buddy Murphy over here. You got our uh, Seth Streak and Rollins and our Nude Seth tag team. If you guys have a better tag team name, please let me know down in the comment section below. But another thing that I also wanted to mention is that Elite 76 is in stock, I think, and it's shipping out to people. So if you guys ordered Elite Series 76, it should be shipping. That's including Braun Strowman, John Cena, Lacey Evans. Who else is in that freaking set? Christian, uh, Heavy Machinery, Otis, and Tucker. We're going to get our Mr. Money in the bank in here. And I'm sure other people are going to be uploading reviews either today or in the next couple days and my series of Elite 76 probably won't be here until Monday if I had to guess because I'm always the last for some reason. I really don't understand it. I, I, I don't know what the hell's up. Everybody else gets theirs the next day. or well, not everybody, but mine's always three, four, five days. But they'll get here when they get here and I'm excited to review those figures. It's been so freaking long since we got a freaking review of some brand new WWE Elites. I'm ready to get the reviews up guys, so if you guys will wait on my review Review, I would really appreciate it. I think you guys enjoy my reviews and I, I love doing them So I hope you guys enjoy them when those figures finally show up But that'll be uh, you know whenever I it, I would be highly shocked if they came this weekend I'm get, I'm betting that they'll come Monday or Tuesday and I'll probably just review the whole set in a day Because you guys probably won't want to wait on them and it's just a bunch of garbage Which I totally understand after you've seen somebody else do them. It's like I don't know man So I don't know we'll just see about that But let me know down in the comment section below if you're hyped for Elite 76 what do you 
you think of the customs here today? Let me know down in the comment section below. I'm getting the hell out of here, guys. I did the customs. Thinking Outside the Box episode coming either tomorrow or the next day. It's hard to do action figure surgery because I don't have any brand new figures. You know, I'm waiting on to get some new figures. Like Elite 76, we'll probably do some surgery on those guys, especially that Cena and everything like that. But anyways, guys, if I get anything, I'll let you guys know and you guys will see the review. But I'm shutting the hell up, getting the hell out of here, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. My name is Toys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.